Now, one of the reasons why I like making these videos is partly because you guys have said that uh, you enjoy watching, which is really, really fantastic from my point of view. It uh, makes it all worthwhile, really. But there is another reason why I like making these videos, and it's because I forget what I did last year. And so um, when it comes to things like pruning, I think to myself, how exactly did I do it? A year ago or two years ago I can never remember so I quite often refer to the videos myself as to uh, you know remind me as to uh, exactly what I did so today I hope it's all about uh, pruning these older vines now they're no longer second or third year vines we're well into the fourth or even fifth year I can never remember but anyway um, so I'm just going to uh, get a little bit of a close-up of what I'm trying to achieve and hopefully it will be useful to you and me in, in years to come so let's just get a little bit closer Okay, here we're confronted with a pretty standard, typical uh, vine that has sprouted all over the place um, in the middle. We've got lots of side shoots coming off uh, across the uh, fruiting line, which I don't know if you can see it in this video, is this line just here. And so, actually the little tape holding the main fruiting cane has slipped off, that's why it's all slipped down a little bit, but we'll soon sort that out. So coming across this side, again, we've got the main fruiting line, and this has been, uh, this year, the main fruiting cane from which all the, um, uh, the grapes hung from. Now, um, in the middle, which is what we're really interested in, is uh, this little sort of mishmash of uh, shoots coming off the central crown, uh, which is sort of this area here, really. And uh, what we're trying to do is um, just choose the best two looking ones uh, coming from the, uh, the centre here and just getting rid of absolutely everything else. So um, now looking at this one, we've got a few options. The first two obvious ones are, are these two here. Uh, they're coming from the, uh, the middle uh, section here. Uh, we've got a nice one at the back here coming uh, across in a nice uh, direction in, in that way. And we've got a few options at the, uh, the back there. But um, yeah, these two here, are going to give us a really sort of nice curve up to the fruiting line which you can just see there and bending over uh, we'll snip it um, so we don't have too many uh, buds on it and likewise this one here coming from more or less exactly the same spot is uh, arching over nicely to the fruiting line and we'll um, put it across the fruiting line up there and they're nice and thick if I put my finger up next to it where's my finger gone there you go um, you can see it's roughly uh, well a little bit thinner than a, a, a but it's definitely a sort of pencil uh, thickness. It's probably about 10 mil, that cane there. Same with uh, this one here. They're easily going to survive the winter. We've got lots of nice uh, buds showing, uh, which is just what we uh, just what we want. And so, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to pick those two. So I'm going to chop everything else off. Um, and what we're going to be hopefully doing is leaving some central buds, uh, like, uh, well, on this one, for example, we've got one, one there, we've got uh, a couple actually on the ones which we're going to keep here and here. Uh, we've also got uh, one up there and hopefully we'll have a few uh, dotted around in the middle here. We want to keep a few, um, so oh, we'll have some down here as well. There's one, one just there where my finger is and we've got one around the corner as well. So this time next year, hopefully we'll have a similar situation where we've got loads of canes coming from the middle. And again, we can choose the best two ones and get rid of um, the previous year's growth. So I'm just gonna get my uh, clippers out now and see uh, how we get on. Right, I'm going to be using my electric uh, clippers here, and these are by a company called Kebtech. Uh, they've got a really good review online. Um, the ones which I got uh, came with two rechargeable batteries. These are 16.8 volts, really, really powerful. And one little note on how powerful they are. They will go through the metal lines here uh, without any issue at all. I well know that because I've done it probably about half a dozen times already this year. And it's very frustrating because then you've got to repair the line, which is just time consuming enough. Well, it's a bit of a waste of time, really. But uh, the reason why I mention um, it is because I'm absolutely dreading the day where I might just accidentally uh, get my finger in the way. And uh, because when you press the trigger and the jaws go down, um, there's absolutely no way your finger is going to survive that. It's so powerful uh, for good reason. I mean, this is fantastic for, you know, it just goes through everything, even with really thick stuff, um, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but yeah, I dread to think what it's going to be like if 
I get my fingertip uh, uh, in there. So for that reason, I don't play any radio or music, which I normally do, because I actually want to concentrate a little bit whilst I'm doing this. And uh, I tend not to do any more than about an hour, hour and a half doing this, because any more than that, my mind might just sort of think, oh, you know, a bit laissez-faire and, you know, what the hell. And uh, before you know it, you've got your finger uh, caught in there and uh, that's no fun at all. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into pruning. Right, so I hope you can, I hope you can see this. Um, we're going to keep these two here. Um, everything else uh, can go, but we should just leave one or two buds for next year. So we'll get rid of this one down here. Uh, we'll get rid of the ones at the back, leaving a couple of buds there. We want to get rid of the last year's growth, which is that one there, so we can snip that one off. Um, if we're happy with the fact that we might have enough buds down below, we can actually get rid of all of that one there. Um, so I think what I'll do is uh, I'll keep this one, but get rid of this side. So I'll keep a bud at the bottom there, which you can't quite see because it's just around the corner where my finger is. So we'll get rid of that one. Uh, we're keeping this one. We'll get rid of all of this lot um, and then make this the crown in the future. I know we've got a little bit of a crown up here, but um, in a funny sort of way, I quite like to have them a little bit lower down from the fruiting line so that I can have a nice gentle curve of the, uh, the fruiting cane, uh, which we're going to keep. And this one's going to be a nice gentle curve up and around uh, to the fruiting line, which is uh, up here. Um, if it's really high up here, um, unless you've got a, a cane that's coming out at right angles, then um, it's, it's a little bit too tight a curve. So you might just put too much strain on the, on the cane itself. So having them a little bit lower down is ideal. Uh, of course, vines being vines, they don't always play ball and you've just got to live with what you've got. So um, I've got lots of potential buds for next year. That's absolutely fine. It looks a bit brutal cutting it, um, you know, cutting a nice big thick bit of cane here, a uh, big thick uh, trunk of uh, vine here, but um, there we go, that's all that done. So uh, we can get rid of all of that. We'll keep uh, one little potential one there. And so we can get rid of all of that. And what we're left with, if I just move these two away, is a, a sort of head to the vine. And we've got two lovely, lovely uh, canes coming from the, uh, the center here. We've got lots of replacement buds, uh, which will grow up new shoots and new canes for the, uh, the following year. And um, I'll just get rid of that little sort of funny bit up there as well. There we go. Um, and that's about done. Now, we've done the, um, I'd say the relatively easy bit. What we've got to do now is get rid of all this stuff, which has entwined itself in the catchwires, the fruiting line. And of course, they've got these um, horrible sort of uh, tendrils which wrap themselves around any kind of wire and each other, which makes removing this stuff quite difficult. But um, anyway, I'll see if I can spin you around and show you exactly how I go about doing that. Okay, so as so long as we protect the ones which we're going to keep, which in this, this side is this one here, that goes up miles up over there, which we'll sort out in a second. Um, we want to get rid of everything else. So you can pull it as much as you like. It's not really going to come away because it's all caught up on the uh, catch wires and everything below, uh, above. So what I tend to do is I just start snipping away like that. I keep pulling it with some pressure on until it all sort of starts to um, come away like, like that. I'll just keep going until there you go, getting a nice big chunk off now. So there you go, that's one big load uh, off there, which is good, so I'll just put that in the pile. Now, everything else, which is um, sort of just hung up on the uh, upper wires here, I then, this is just my technique, and if you've got other ways of doing it, then absolutely brilliant, because, uh, you know, it's just uh, practice really and what comes uh, naturally and easily. I just reach in um, above the top catch wires, pull everything out as best I can. Um, not, of course, everything isn't going to come uh, immediately out. Um, and then I just sort of snip away until I sort of get things coming out like that. So I just got a big handful uh, like that. So I chuck that on the ground, um, get rid of these little side shoots off the ones which we're going to keep. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we're not going to keep much more than that. So I'll snip it about there. And um, well, as you can see, this is now really nice and clear this side. Uh, we've got um, some funny little ones which are caught up there. Well, that's half of that vine done now. So that's uh, made it um, quite easy. And then we come on to the other side, which is exactly the same. So I'm just going to use my little joystick just to 
bring you round on this half. We should be able to complete this fine in no time at all. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I've got the old fruiting uh, cane there. I'm just going to snip away at the bottom here, making sure I don't go through the one we're going to protect, which is this one here. Just keep going until you get the, the main one out like that. That's the, the main one, uh, main cane. That can go on the pile. And then I reach up um, over the uh, cack wires, uh, pull as best I can uh, everything that I want to sort of get rid of. Uh, which is all this lot here. Well, that one that came out without too... Oh, that, that's good, isn't it? Uh, just snip away everything that's caught. Um, there we go, that's that. Oh. Well, that's another whole load of stuff that's uh, just come out, so I can chuck that on the pile. And uh, now, as my dad would say, we're getting dangerously close to being organised on this side. So let me just bring the camera along a little bit on this side as well. Uh, okay, we'll just snip off the little ones which just make it look a little bit messy. Okay, and then we want to count, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that, which is roughly halfway, to be honest, which is good. So there we have it. In uh, not too much time, we've managed to get rid of what looked like a complete mess and a mishmash of canes that have sprouted up all over the place and have got caught up on all the uh, wires and things. And we're left with what we hope is going to be a successful vine for the following year. So we've got a nice um, head to it here. We've got um, some nice shoots that are going to form next year's canes. And we've got uh, the two fruiting canes in a nice sort of you know, nice sort of arch, uh, which is going to then be later attached to the, the fruiting line uh, when I come to um, sort of tie all these things down. Um, I don't tend to tie them down at this time of year, actually, because um, why don't I tie them down at this time of year? I was told once by another vineyard owner that he lets them sort of flap around in the wind and everything until springtime, uh, just in case strapping them down at, you know, during, over the winter does you know, more damage. I don't know whether that's rubbish or whatever, you know, put in the comments what you think. Uh, but I tend to um, tie them down later on, uh, just before they, you know, wake up in the springtime. So, um, yeah, that's how I do it. Uh, yeah, if you've got better ways of doing it, then definitely put them in the comments. I'll be um, absolutely delighted to learn from other people, um, you know, what their techniques are. It's a little bit laborious, I must admit, pruning um, this time of year. It's a job that obviously needs to be done. So um, you just got to sort of bite the bullet and get on with it. Uh, but, you know, as I've said in previous videos, you've just got to start at the first one, do it. And then before you know it, you've done five, then you've done a row and then, you know, do another row and then you're well on the way. So um, I'm just going to uh, crack on and do a few more of these uh, before it gets too dark. It gets dark now in the UK around about half past four, which is, um, Ridiculous, to be honest. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Uh, maybe in the country that you're in, uh, you have a you know longer afternoon or evening session to do these things, but um, not here at the moment. It's, we're well on the way to uh, getting to the uh, shortest day, which is only in about uh, six weeks' time. And uh, it seems like you get up in the dark and go to work and come back in the dark, which is no fun at all. Anyway, enough waffling. I'm going to crack on with a, a few more of these and see how we get on. Now, I just want to show you how powerful these things are. Uh, I've got a, I don't know if you can see this bit here, uh, this, my finger in comparison, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna be snipping through this one here. Um, just as an estimate, this has got to be uh, round about, ooh, it's a good inch, it's a good inch, about, about two and a half, three centimeters or so. And if I put my jaws here, let's just see if this goes through all of it. Not sure if it will actually, I was, yeah, here, here goes anyway. No, no, well that's probably about the limit then. Let's try it again. Oh, it did on the second go. So let's just take that one away. That's quite cool really. If you were trying to do that with, um, you, well you never do it with hand secateurs, you probably have to get a saw out and saw through that in the end. Uh, yeah, there we go. So anyway, I'll keep going. Awesome. It's very satisfying, it's a very satisfying crunch when you do it with these. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. That's quite fun, isn't it? Oh, yes. 
Very good. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, my, I live a very sad life, don't I? Okay, right, I should carry on with this one now. So that's another batch done. I've got my fingers and thumbs all intact, which I count as a bit of a bonus. And uh, the thing which we've got left is lots and lots of this brash. Now we're gonna end up, by the time we finish uh, pruning the whole vineyard, absolutely shed loads of this. Now some people, um, I don't know, chop it all up and do something with it. But uh, the most satisfying thing I can think of is to gather it all up and have a really good bonfire. Now it is a little bit wet, a bit damp today, so we'll give it a go and uh, see how we get on. Well, I think we stand an outside chance that this fire is going to take. It's quite wet wood, so it's hissing away and uh, crackling, which is always very satisfying and everything. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, a huge thank you to my patrons, as always. Uh, they really help this channel out, to be honest. And if you want to join them, then go over to the Patreon site and you'll get a lot more videos, background information, fact sheets, all that kind of thing that we do here. Uh, anyway, thank you ever so much for watching uh, this episode. Next week, we should be able to have a look at our wine again. Uh, the red wine's coming to the end of its malolactic fermentation, so we'll get on to the next stage with that. If you've not checked out the video already, have a look uh, up here for the uh, link for that one. And uh, have a super week in the meantime, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, bye for now. Cheerio.